What is up guys back again with another video today. I am going to be reviewing my custom Deadpool figure that I made Well, not made Just painted it just painted Now you know the thing that Deadpool carries for the katanas I made another one And these go I don't want to crazy glue them on his back so I'd rather have them on a strap. So like you could put the swords right here on his arm. I mean in his in a sheath. I don't know if you can see right there. The sheath. Alright, enough of that. Now let's just talk about my custom figure. Now I just used a regular dead old dead an old dead <clears throat> an old deadpool figure. That was already messed up. The paint had sucked. The paint sucked. That's what I had to tell you guys. It was already all scratched up. The figure was coming apart. So I just took a wrestler arms. Painted the shoulders right here black. Well, my dad helped me paint, paint the black part on the Deadpool. And my dad also helped me paint the eyes. Look at that. Deadpool. Oh, now the gun holsters. The gun thingies. Here's a little. For the guns, I made like a little pocket. Just like the sheath for the katanas. But I put pistols in them. These are the fake plastic piece pistols. And then for the other side, I also did the same thing. But. I did the same thing right there, as you guys can see. <clears throat> so these are all the accessories it came with. Well, it did not. I just made it like, like that. <sighs> uh, hope you guys like the figure. But we're not just gonna be reviewing my custom today. I have a special figure that came in a package today. Now let me just. Open this baby up. The X-Men. Oh, crap. Let me just find the accessories. So the accessories that this figure came with is a... Hold up, guys. It's just taking me a very long time. And there it is. The uncanny Deadpool 80, 80 year thing. Figuring. Figure, I meant. Not figuring. <clears throat> and the accessories this Deadpool figure came with is all of that. So. Really good figure. It looks more gray. But if you go here. Like right here. It's blue than gray. So instead of black. They put blue. Which I really love the color on this figure. Really dope. And today. I barely got it today. Look. And I like the way they, they put like the box. I love this box. I'm going to keep it. For display now enough for the figure now we're just going to talk about the accessories and the articulation <clears throat> so the two things that he comes with well mainly he comes with is basically his katanas two katanas well these are not actually big long katanas these are just short katanas you guys can see but once again i love the detail on the figure katanas that they made Focus. All right, there, there it is. Same side is awesome. I went for the plastic material. Now I love the katanas more, but what I really like is the Deadpool machine gun. 
I'm pretty sure this is a grenade launcher. I don't know what. I don't know too much about guns either. I think this is an uh, M60. I don't know. I'm just gonna call it an automatic AR with the grenade launcher attached to it. That's what I'm just gonna call it. Now I do not know what these guns are called. MP5s. The MP what MP5s maybe. I don't know, but these are really good too. I love these details. It looks nice. And then another one. He comes with two MP5s. These are the accessories. MP5s. Well, I'm just going to call them MP5s. I don't know. This is all the accessories. And we have a brown handle pistol. Look at this beautiful pistol. No, I like the pistol with the Deadpool figure. I wish. Now, the paint is pretty good. You can see a little bit sloppy paint job right there. And his face. One thing about this figure is that if you move the head, the only... How far the head looks up is that for me. I don't know about other people. But once again, really good figure. I like these figures. Now I'm trying to pull them. I like the figure. Now, I will be making more custom figures. But this has to be my favorite custom figure of all time. Out of all the figures, I think this one is actually pretty cool. And with this figure right here. I have an old display thing in stand. Oh, and this is the bag where I keep all the accessories and stuff. See uh, Venom Head, Thor Swords, Scorpions, Giant Katana, Capes. If you guys want to know how to make a cape, it's, it's so easy. What I did is, like, get a Batman figure, right? Get some old fabric. And you know how you could take off the head, and, like the neck thingy? Can put him like that. He looks cool. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry for not uploading in a very long time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.